As you know, websites are built with HTML. They have been built that way for a long, long time. It's often the case that you want a server to dynamically generate HTML. You might want to serve HTML that greets the currently logged in user, or maybe you want to dynamically generate the data table. To create a dynamic HTML, you have different view engines. There are different template engines you can use with Express application to create dynamic HTML. For example, we have EJS, which is stands for embedded JavaScript. Then we have handlebars, bug, and more. For the rest of these examples, we'll use bug. Basically, in template engine, you can use many JavaScript syntax, like if and else condition, you can use for loop, while loop, and so on. The template engine replaces the variable in the template file with actual values and transform the template into HTML file and send to the client. So let's just take a look at a very simple example to create a view in Express application. So I'm going to first create here constant variable express is equal to and I'm going to require the Express application. Just out of that, I'm going to say constant app is equal to express and create an instance of express application just for that i'm going to say constant port 3000 if you want you can change this port name and specify your own now just for that i'm going to save the changes and install the perk template engine template engines are not inbuilt in node application or you can say in express application so i'm going to just open my terminal and here i'm going to first enter in my application using cd command cd express application and here I'm going to say npm install and then I'm going to specify the name of the module or you can say the template engine name. So here I'm going to say pub. I want to save this as dependency. So here I'm going to say save. I'm going to pass here save flag with this pub module. I'm going to press enter to install this pub in my application. Once we have this module, let's clear the screen and close this terminal. Just down here, we need to inform the express application from where he needs to get the template files. So here I'm going to simply say app dot set. I'm going to call a method set of the instance of express application. And in this method, I'm going to first pass the template engine name. So here in the single code, I'm going to say view engine. Just out of that, specify comma. And here I'm going to specify the template engine pub. To create the views, you need to first create a folder called views. So inside this application, I'm going to create a new folder and name this folder views. Now views is a directory where the template files are located. Now this is the default directory of template engine. If you want to change this directory, you need to add a set command again with a template directory name. For example, if you change this name of this directory, you need to add another command right down here with the name of the directory. You can notice here we specify views and specify the name of the directory. If you change this directory name, you need to specify that name right here. But I'm going to use the default name views, so I'm not going to add this command here. We are going to, we are going to use the default name views, so I'm not going to add this command here. Now, just for that, once I install my perk in this express application, and once I have this views folder, let me just create my index file. So in this folder views, I'm going to create a new file and name this file index. And keep in mind, you need to specify here perk as an extension. I'm going to specify here perk as extension. Keep in mind, you don't need to specify here HTML because we are going to generate the dynamic HTML file. That is why we're going to use the perk extension. Now here, I'm going to create a simple dynamic HTML using this perk file. If you want to know more about this perk language, then you need to head on to perkjs.org. From here, you can understand how to implement the simple HTML file using this Perk language. Perk syntax are different than standard HTML. To create this index page, I'm going to just simply first specify the doc type. So here I'm going to say doc type HTML and press enter. And down here, I'm going to create the HTML tag. So here I'm going to say HTML and press enter. In Perk language, you don't have to close the HTML tag. You just have to specify the tag name and then specify indention. When I specify here indention, all the tags are created inside this HTML tag. Just out of that, I'm going to just create title Express View Engine. Just out of that, I'm going to specify body. And inside this body, I'm going to specify H1 heading tag with the text Express Application. 
or you can specify any text here that doesn't matter just for that just onto this h1 heading tag i'm going to simply create here a paragraph and specify text here express template engine that's it you can notice how easy it is to create the html page using pug language i'm going to save the changes and now back to my server.js file so i'm going to simply create here a route to render this page so here i'm going to say app.get i'm going to create get request and to the root route i'm going to return this page so here i'm going to create a function with request and response parameter and inside this function i'm going to say response dot render i have a method to render templates so i'm going to say here render and inside this render i'm going to first specify the page name so here i'm going to say index so this is the name of my file and then i'm going to save all the changes just out of that here i'm going to say dot listen i want to listen this on port 3000 and i'm going to just create here a callback function and specify a console message console.log and say here server started on http localhost 3000 save the changes and execute this file so i'm going to open my terminal and here i'm going to say npm start as you know i have this command in my package.json file you can notice here i have the start command nodemon server.js so this will execute this command using this npm start i'm going to press enter to start this server you can notice the server is started on http localhost 3000 so i'm going to click on this link and open my application when i open the browser you can notice when i open the localhost 3000 i'm going to have the result something like this i'm going to have the h1 heading tag with a paragraph so you can notice here this is super easy to create html page using perg language now what if you don't want to specify these hard coded values here instead you want to pass values from the server you can do that with perg language i'm going to get rid of this express view engine from this title and specify here equal to sign and then i'm going to specify variable name title and i'm going to pass this title right here when i render this page so as a second argument i'm going to pass object and to this object i'm going to create title key and to this key i'm going to pass this text like this just out of that i'm going to get rid of this text right from here specify equal to sign and then specify h1 back to the server.js create here a key h1 and then specify value to it so i'm going to see here express application just out of that i'm going to get rid of this hard coded text specify equal to sign specify variable name p save the changes open the server file and create here a key p and specify value to it like this save the changes and when i reload the browser i'm going to have the same result but at this time i'm going to have this text from the variable instead of hard coded value so when i change this variable name this will reflect to this perk file now i hope you understand how to create a simple view using express application practice with this code to understand how views are created in express application from the next lecture we're going to start the core express